the thing that I enjoyed the most about this project would have to be just having the opportunity to start off with, you know, this piece of wood and like be able to keep building onto it until, and just kind of like seeing where the project went. Um, when I first started out, I had a rough idea of what I wanted to do, but like as I kept building it, it's kind of took on its own form and like actually just like getting the chance to like try out building it was probably my favorite thing about it. So to start off the project, we started off by drawing just rough ideas of what our bar would look like. And once we had a pretty good idea, we did sort of a final copy of that. And just kind of like the technical framework of what our bar would look like on the inside. Um, and then from that, we built our base frame. Like we took a block of wood and kind of made it into a bit of a body shape. We like added a neck and a tail and placed it with the wings on. And that bit was really technical. It was more about like actually using the power tools and building it and like making it logically smart and all that. Um, and then after that, we did a stage where we would wrap it in chicken wire and stuff that chicken wire with um, a newspaper. And that gave our birds shape, which actually gave us a lot more flexibility with like what we wanted our birds to look like. Because it wasn't just the wood, like you could actually like mold it and decide how exactly each curve would happen. Um, and then after that we did paper mache over top of the chicken wire. And after that, we painted it, and then kept painting it, kind of like dry brushing it with paint to get some of the cool effects, but with lots of texture, and then we had our prints. I, I had never really used saws or power tools very much before. I mean, I'd done one art project before, but it wasn't to the same extent. I mean, for this one, we were using jigsaws and like, like cutting out curvy shapes and more specific details, so you really couldn't avoid it using power tools. It wasn't the kind of thing where you could just like get away with doing the bare minimum amount of sawing. Like you really had to like work with them if you wanted to get the shapes that you were going after. So having Mr. Greg as an art teacher is definitely really, really helpful, especially in a project like this, because we had a lot of freedom, but at the same time there was a technical aspect to it that we didn't necessarily know exactly what it was that we were doing. So having Mr. Greg there, he would tell us, yes, this design is going to work, or no, you need to do it a different way. So the cool thing about this project is our birds really are going to last for a very long time. I know that Mr. Greg was saying that the birds will be hanging in the hallway for at least a year, and then after that, who knows? But because this is my graduating year, this is kind of like my last big project. And it's something that will be at the school for however long.